Hey Pisces, it's Meg with Padme's and I'm doing your full moon, April full moon reading. And this is what they want to say to you. We're going to look at your energy, the person who you're thinking of, their energy, the energy of the situation. So many cards waiting to pop out, but I'm not ready yet. Okay. And then we're going to look at what it is that the person that you are thinking of, what is it that they're wanting to say to you? So there's a lot of energy right now. And cards have been popping out and falling on the floor all day long. So there's just a lot of stuff going on. So first we're going to put, oh, there they go. All right. First, we're going to put your energy out, Pisces. All right. Here's your energy. And here is the energy of your person. And by the way, we're only talking to our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light, because I don't want to talk to anyone else. And we're also calling in Archangel Gabriel. Here's the energy of the situation. And let's see what we have here. And Pisces, we're gonna look at the situation first. So here we have it. So we've got the Ace of Wands reversed. We've got the Seven of Pentacles reversed. And we've got the Seven of Wands reversed. So the situation is there's some kind of passionate new beginning that halted. It stopped. It was unplugged. And reason being, this is about something in the universe still cooking. Something was needing to be nurtured. It was needing to be, it's like it was watered and it was ripped out of the ground before it was even ready, like before it even had a chance. And this is this need to defend something. So something feels like, it feels like there was something old that needed to be defended. And that's why this new beginning couldn't start. Let's take a look at your energy around this, Pisces. Here is the Six of Pentacles, talking about reciprocity or a lack of reciprocity. Here's the Two of Pentacles reversed so it's like there was a focus and it was a one-way type of focus. Wow, Pisces, and here's the Five of Cups. So this Five of Cups is really bummed out, really depressed, really sad, really grieving, this lack of reciprocity, okay? This is your person's energy, Pisces. Here is the Knight of Swords reversed and the hanged man reversed and justice. So something's going on here, Pisces. This, this knight of swords rushed in and created this, I, this hanged man is all about not having to sacrifice. And this knight of swords reversed is saying, I, I stormed the castle, castle, I rushed in but I wasn't, I didn't look at the big picture or I, I kind of had an outburst of what was going on. I had an outburst of something, an outburst of emotions. I had an outburst. It was almost like a, this would be kind of an argument. The, the Knight of Swords says things without thinking says things without having the full picture or the full view, but looks like very much felt like whatever it was that they were talking about had to do with them having to sacrifice and they were not willing to do any sacrificing and they feel like what they, what they said was just or right. Okay. So here we have this unplugging of a situation that didn't even get started because someone had to defend themselves. And it looks like your person was defending themselves or felt like they had to defend themselves in some way. And Pisces, it looks like you're saying 
there wasn't any reciprocity. This Knight of Swords was like my way or the highway, my way of looking at things or no way. Oh, okay. That's pretty fast and furious. It's like this is not being able to get a word in edgewise. All right. I want to know, Pisces, about the situation. What is coming forward in the situation that you are not seeing? What's coming forward in the situation that you cannot see yet? And we'll put three cards for this. All right, Pisces. So we've got the Eight of Swords reversed, Judgment, and the Eight of Wands. So what's interesting about this, Pisces, is somebody, there's some kind of reconciliation. There's some kind of new beginning and reconciliation. There's some kind of seeing the truth. I'm even hearing seeing the truth behind closed doors. And this Eight of Swords is talking about looking at things from a different perspective, being able to see the truth in present time versus in the past, versus from the past. So old stories are being brought current or whatever was thought about, like this is the way things were. Presently, it's updated. Somehow it's updated. It's like, oh, that was in the past. Now this is the future. That was the truth then. This is the truth now. And some kind of new beginning can happen from this. This is a reconciliation. And this is fast communication, fast like lightning communication. Okay, so what I want to see here is what your person or the person that you're thinking of, what is it that they're wanting to say to you? Perhaps in this fast like lightning communication here, what has happened here, Pisces? What does your person want to say to you? Unicorns are real, but it's reversed. So this is someone who is saying that the magic of the universe is not something they're plugging into. I also feel like they're trying to say that magical thinking isn't, isn't okay. This is funny when I'm hearing that I'm hearing a little kid's voice saying that, almost like they've been reprimanded or they've been told that before. And so it's like they're angry and defensive, saying unicorns aren't real, when you know they are. And quick to dead the bull like a matador, but it's reversed. So there's some kind of door opening here, Pisces your person that you're thinking of is talking about not not closing the door the door was closed looks like somehow it's opening and we'll get some clarification on that too i'll wait for you there like a stone Pisces, I definitely want to say that this is particularly about past lives and in between worlds and in between lives. And what that tells me too is that this situation is a soulmate type relationship or twin flame type relationship. Let's get some clarification. So also what that's saying is that this this cycle might be shifting, but you'll be high-fiving in the astrals. So even if it doesn't come into fruition in the physical 3D, this is not a disconnect on all levels, okay? 
Let's see. I want to get some clarification on unicorns are real, but reversed. Right. Someone is trying to decide whether or not they are the key, that they have the answers. Someone's trying to decide what the magic of the universe is and what their connection is to it. And this quick to death at the like a matador reversed. This opening of the door. Right, it's like someone, it's almost like they're coming forward, like this is their cross to bear. This could be coming forward with some sadness that they're wanting to relay to you. They might even be wanting to feel some support from you. And I'll wait for you there like a stone. some clarification on that. Ultimately, no matter what this is like in 3D, Pisces, this is the sun. The sun is the actual illumination of the truth. This is the big star. So the truth of it is there's a big picture that's been denied in this situation that creates sadness here in 3D, but ultimately it never, it never burns out. So I want to ask a yes or no question for you, Pisces. So you can take a moment and pause this if you need to in case you wanna get your question together, but let's ask a yes or no question. I'll pull from the Angel Oracle and then clarify that, that question around the situation. Meditation brings answers. Let me get a yes or no, please. So meditating on this brings answers. And this says wait. So I want to say that this is a yes, but it's kind of a hold your horses. <laughs> or at least um, it's a yes with some with some space in between, some time, not immediate. So meditation brings answers. It's also talking about questing into the universe. Communication in 3D is going to be slower than communication in the astrals. And I'm asking for clarification on your question, Pisces. And this has something to do with images being completely shifted, changed, maybe even shattered images changing from what you thought they were to what they actually are. This would be masks coming off, seeing under someone's mask, image changing quickly. Okay. Somehow I wanna pull one more. Where is that? I even saw the deck that I wanted to use. Here it is. All right, some clarification on your question, Pisces, your yes or no question. So what's under that mask? Whatever this clarification is around, those images being shattered, wow. Oh, Pisces, this has to do with narcissistic energy. This has to do with resources being released or removed. And again, we have the two of pentacles reversed. This is reciprocity in one direction. It's giving more than receiving. And so 
something having to do with your question has to do with someone's lack, oh, I'm hearing lack of respect, but someone's lack of giving in accordance to receiving. Okay, Pisces, I hope this helped. I'll be back toward the end of the month with the May readings and I will talk to you soon. Have a good one.